Good morning, students. Myself, Dr. Sachin Ayrekar, and today I want to explain the model number six of Human Resource Management course, that is Employee Relationship Management. First, we'll see the learning objective. After learning this chapter, you will you will be able to explain the concept of employee relationship management and you will understand the issues in employee relationship management and the tools available for employee relationship management. <coughs> Next, I will begin with the definition of employee relationship management. Employee relationship management is a relationship between the employer means the owner of the factory, employee, people who are working in that company premises and statutory authorities like government, state government and central government which works for industrial peace, growth of employee and employee, employer. So when we are talking about employee relationship management concept, it is a relationship and it is a relationship, um, relationship triangle where uh, first will be the employer and the second there will be employees and third will be the statutory authorities that is uh, government, state government as well as uh, central government. Now employer will have two relationships to maintain, one is with the employees, another one is with the statutory authority. Employees will have again to maintain two relationships, one is with the employer, second one is with the statutory authority and statutory authorities are also going to take care of employer as well as employees. So this triangle must be uh, strong that is what employee relationship management and if this triangle of relationship triangle is strong then only industrial peace growth of both parties employer and employees can be achieved. So when we are discussing about the uh, definition of employee relationship management it is a relationship between the employer, employee and uh, government authorities. Now when we are talking about um, government authorities, uh, what is the connection between the employer, employee and the government? Government, uh, the state has given some, prepared some rules and regulations. That rules and regulations may be act. Both these parties, they have to follow those acts. That is very, very important. Now, for example, minimum wage act, okay, so employees are going to get the salaries, wages and they are going to get the wages that should be above minimum wages act, that should be above minimum wages act. Who has prepared this minimum wages act? Government, the statutory authorities, they have prepared this um, act and who is going to follow <coughs> in this case? The employer must follow this particular, should follow this particular act. I will take another example. Now the example is uh, uh, that uh, which employees unnecessary can demand uh, more than which is not a realistic demand. Which is not a realistic demand. For example, uh, employees can't say like this, uh, we are contributing and because of us uh, profit is there. And that's why we must uh, get all profit what the employer is getting. This is not possible. This is not practical. If em employer is going to give all profit to the employees, then how is going to reinvest? How is going to do the expansion of the company and his business? Number and how he is going to survive and his family members are going to this. I will be survived. So all profit can't be shared amongst the employees who are working in that company. So that's why there is a role for employees also in this relationship. The way the statutory authorities are having role, the way uh, employees are having role, same way the employer is also having a role to give the best to the employees, to pay the provident fund amount for the employees, to create best working conditions for the employees, provide them the training facility, some uh, other facilities like bus facility, canteen facilities, he should provide. So everyone 
these three actors have a role and if they are going to perform their role as per expectation then this relationship triangle will be very strong and then only there will be peace in industry there should there will not be any buns there will not be any lockouts there will be um, in a, there will not be any agitations there will not be any strikes and if this is the condition then only employer and employee they will prosper and ultimately the country will prosper because of that so in the definition it is very clearly mentioned that is the relationship between employer employee and statutory authorities and which works for the objective is also mentioned, the goal is also given in this definition, that is industrial peace. There should not be any uh, lockouts, there should not be any strikes, any bans or agitations. And second goal is that it should help to grow employer as well as employee. Only employees are going, that is dangerous, that is not acceptable. Only employer is growing, that is again not acceptable and dangerous. And both employer and employees are growing, automatically the country will grow. They will get additional revenues in the form of taxes. There will not be any unemployment and that is what is the outcome of good ERM, employee relationship management. So we have discussed about the definition part. It is nothing but uh, managing the relationship between employer, employee and statutory authorities which works for industrial peace, growth, of employer and employees. Our boot was the next part. Employee relationship management tools. What are the tools available for maintaining this relationship? The first tool is the cooperation. There should be a cooperation between employee and employee. There should be a cooperation between employee and his manager. There should be a cooperation between employee and the owners of the factory. That cooperation should be there. And employee relationship management provides platform to all of these to come together, to discuss the issues, talk with each other, share their ideas and cooperate with each other. Understand the problem of others. What is the problem of my employer? What is the problem of this particular employee? That understanding will be there and then the cooperation will start. When cooperation will start? One is on the South Pole, one is on the North Pole. How cooperation will get start? It is difficult. People should come together. Parties should come together. They should discuss, they should talk. Cooperation will start. The first important thing is cooperation, which brings two different parties together, employer and employees. Help them to talk, provide a platform to talk, provide a platform to share their ideas, provide a platform to discuss their problems and find out the solution. In this way, cooperation is an important tool for employee relationship management, which helps to maintain that triangle of relationship strong. It will not get destroyed. To maintain that triangle of relationship very strong, that is ERM, cooperation is an important. People are going to understand, for example, cooperation. Timing change is there. And timing change, new timings are creating problem for employees. Employees are coming and discussing this issue with the employees. Employer. The under, employer understand that issue. And then he has decided that he is going to uh, go back to the normal working timing because that is helping the employees. Employees will be happy, they will give more and more in return to the organization. Cooperation, understanding. After cooperation, the motivation part is there. Now motivation, employee is another important to maintain employee relationship. How I, I, how as an employer I am going to motivate my employees? By giving them the best working condition. By giving them the best uh, reward. By giving them the best facilities. It may be, we can say, uh, medical fitness facility, uh, physical fitness facilities. Providing medical allowances. Taking, uh, supporting their children's, employee children's. 
it is nothing but motivating the employees identifying the needs of the employees and according to that the support will be get provided to the employees employees when they are going to get this support when their problems are going to be resolved they will feel happy they will feel motivated they will be in, there will be an enthusiasm amongst the employee community and definitely they will give back best results for the organization now when there is appeal from the employer side that we have this we have got this order and we have to complete this order in one week these motivated employees will contribute effectively and they will complete this task in five days this will be a motivation for the employer again and that will build a trust between the employer and employee community so motivation is again an important tool advantage of feedback given by the employee that is another important employees are actually in the battlefield they are the best evaluator of a particular situation they will give a very unique ideas they will are they may are having unique ideas with them we can't say like this this particular person works uh, takes care of this activity that means he don't have any creativity we can't do like this this is totally wrong every individual is having some creativity if you are going to allow them definitely they will come in for, they will come in front uh, forward and they will definitely share their ideas they will give their feedback unnecessary we have kept this activity in this room we can shift this activity in another room where already these activities are carried out and we can utilize this space for some other activities this is a solution this is an idea which is given by an employee definitely it will help us to use our infra infrastructure effectively unnecessary the money which we are spending to uh, on light um, electricity and uh, putting the devices and putting the people here instead of that the setup is already available in another room we can go there we can do these things so it is saving the money of the organization so this feedback given by the employees are important it's an important tool to maintain the relationship rational conflict resolution conflict will be resolved and this conflict resolution is it will be rational and logical also. both these parties will come up with their solution solutions will be analyzed best solution will be accepted by both parties it's rational conflict resolution authorities are saying the library timings will be up to 6 o'clock students are saying we want to do it and we want up to 10 o'clock both parties are coming together and they are saying okay 8 will be 8 pm will be the library timing so morning 8 pm to um, uh, evening p uh, evening 8 pm that is the 12 hours library availability for the student rational conflict resolution which will help to build a strong relationship between employer and employee so these are the tools available for employee relationship management cooperation motivation advantage of feedback given by an employee and rational conflict resolution we'll move towards the next part that is issues in employee relationship management the first issue is related to general conflict it may be related to allotment of work it may be related to availability of uh, technology it may be related to the reporting formats conflict difference of opinion will be there on these issues it may be uh, re related to uh, bus route which the employee is using instead of taking that particular route this route is the best route but company administration people are saying no we have already designed that route so you have to come there then only the bus will pick up you and the bus will drop there in that place only to you 
these type of conflicts general conflicts these are the issues will be there quality of food which is served in canteen that will be a problem this type of issue, this type of issue will be there for small babies the crush pass, crush facility which we are providing company is providing for the children of uh, female employees these type of issues will come in general conflict management second one is the safe working environment the issues related to working environment calibration of equipments annual maintenance of the machines providing helmets safety boots providing safety training in a light in at working place clean water drinking water facility available nobody has clean the water tank for last one year what will happen to the employees health stomach upsets will be there which will lead to absenteeism safety working environment not related to machine and technology other issues are also there no proper light arrangements it will increase the stress level of employees eyes which will further lead to frustration safe working environment issues related to that will be considered in employee relationship management time and attendance issues i have already explained about that thumb impression is given for that machine when i am going and doing the thumb giving my putting my thumb there no response from the machine so my attendance is not marked that particular employee's attendance is not marked this type of issues will come there as well as non compliance issues will be there employer has promised something but he failed to fulfill that promise non compliance issues like filling up the provident fund amount to provident fund office that issues will be there we have employees have requested for the subsidized food that is not completed those non compliance issues will be there so issues in employee relationship management are broadly of four categories general conflict safe related to working environment time and attendance issues non compliance issues issues like promotions issues like transfer issues like demotions those issues will also come in this after completion of 7 years of services a particular employee that grade level employees will be get shifted to upper grade level these issues will be discussed in employee relationship management and these issues will be resolved also in employee relationship management now we move towards the next part why it is important this is the last part uh, of this particular unit importance of employee relationship management it creates healthy working environment no friction will be there because everyone knows from employer side as well as employee side there is a platform where i can go and i can put my point and my other party counterpart will listen to it if my point is having some metal it will be get accepted if no it will be get rejected so transparency will be there it will help to build a trust bridge between the employer and employees and that's why there will be a working uh, healthy working environment in the organization second important part it increases the productivity of the employees definitely erm will help the employees will help the employees to give their best to the organization they will erm 
tools will help the employer to satisfy the employees especially their needs related to work proper care will be taken of employees inside the organization and about their post retirement life through provident funds graduate and other thing safe working environment will be there in the organization for employees and all will contribute for increasing the productivity of the employees employees will be in positive frame of mind what he is getting from the organization because of that so he will work hard and his productivity will be more that will also improve the productivity of the organization which will further lead to bumper profitability third important thing about importance of erm it provides platform for the employees to share their views and ideas we should do these things in the organization it will improve the performance of the organization employees are coming with this solution ideas and these ideas will be heard these ideas will be accepted if it is good. and these ideas will be implemented in the organization and credit will be given to that particular employee it will help the employees it will feel very employees will feel very happy about it and we are not only few brains are thinking it will create a situation where all those who are working in the organization they will start thinking and when all these brains are going to think we will get many more ideas we can select few out of that the ideas which are very good and which are relevant with the uh, day to day activities of the organization but employees will get a platform where there will be um, opportunity for them to share their views and ideas someone is going to be there to listen there to their ideas and that is why uh, that is happening in arm and that's why it is important organization will get a pool of ideas and from that they can get some few genuine ideas very important ideas which they can convert maybe some inventions innovations will take place because of that it helps to avoid the conflict yes people will put their views employees will put give their views employer will put their views. communication will be there there may be difference of opinion but both these parties are going to sit together that helps to avoid that helps the organization that helps the owner to stop uh, the conflict difference of opinion will not be get converted into conflict that is what is important because of er people will sit parties will sit across the table and they will discuss and that will help them to understand each other once there will be understanding the difference of opinion will be get resolved they will come to a common conclusion acceptable solution and then both parties together will implement that so avoid the conflict it also helps to resolve the conflict if there is there there are 10 issues nine issues will be get resolved but still more discussions are there conflict is there both the parties will again sit they will discuss and they will resolve the issue if it is not possible they will take the help of the third actor in this particular uh, relationship that is statutory authorities labor commissioner will send his nominee under his leadership both the parties will again will get seat and they will discuss the nominee will give some solution for that and both parties will agree to this it helps erm helps to resolve the conflict and that's why if the conflicts are going to be get resolved then parties will not take extreme steps otherwise what will happen they will use strikes and lockouts this type of weapons which will destroy the organization which will destroy all these three actors if lockouts and bunts 
strikes what it results into it results into no productivity no productivity will results into uh, unemployment the number will be on the higher side and if unemployment number is going to be on the higher side it is not only going to create a problem for the employer and employees employees family will be get disturbed employer he has invested so much of money in uh, developing that particular business he is not going to get any return because of that he is he has to uh, sit and he has to see how his business is going to be get destroyed employees and their family members they are not going to get anything in return problem of survival will be there for them as well as government is not going to get any revenue today government is uh, going to get they are they have to think about the increased unemployment number and to avoid this situation erm is the solution the relationship between the triangle of the relationship should be very strong every actor employer employee and government if they are going to perform their role effectively definitely erm is going to help all these three important actors and their interest will be get safeguarded and that's why employee relationship management nowadays is a very important for organization for employee community as well as for statutory authorities dear students today we have covered this small unit employee relationship management we have started with the definition we have discussed various tools we have discussed about the issues in erm as well as we have discussed the importance of employee relationship management thank you